Hello. I'm Artifacts of Mars. And this has been an ongoing thing. There's something that's gone wrong with kerosene. I believe it to be intentional, but I can't prove it. I haven't been able to find any uh, reason why this should be happening. But I'm appealing to viewers to chime in if you've had similar experiences or know what's going on. The problem started in the winter of 2014-2015. And what it is, the kerosene heaters will stop. The wicks are getting, I hate to say the word, clogged up. They get fouled. You can't really see anything and it'll stop absorbing kerosene. And that's not all. It gets very, very ugly to try to uh, uh, smell them. There's an exceedingly strong smell of kerosene. It's beyond anything I can imagine. It causes my eyes to burn. It causes them to, uh, you know, tear up. It doesn't seem to affect my lungs. And the, the smell is so strong, you can smell it a good 20 feet away from my house. This despite the fact that prior to that season, uh, this didn't happen. There was some smell, of course, but it wasn't strong, really. And it was tolerable, and I liked the kerosene heaters. They became expensive with uh, drastic increases in fuel prices that we had, of course. I don't know what's going on, and that's why I'm appealing for help. Okay, I know I had some questions off. Is it bad wicks? No, you can install a brand new wick in one of these heaters, and it goes bad really quickly. The only defense seems to be to burn them dry nearly every day. Burning dry means just that. You run it out of fuel and it just burns out, basically. And it cleans it. Is it old heaters? Nope. I bought a new one this year in hopes it would alleviate the problem. New heater, new kerosene, same results. I've been burning it dry nearly every day. Last night... I burned it dry. I had to set the thing outside it was so bad. So I set it outside and let it burn dry outside. And I usually don't do that. Is it the dye in the kerosene? No. I've only used clear kerosene on this one and I got the same results. Dye has nothing to do with it. Uh, the red dye will make your... Uh, wick red, but it doesn't really harm it. You're supposed to only use clear K1 kerosene, and that's what I'm using, though. No. Is this related to incomplete combustion? Well, probably, possibly. I, mean, I don't think incomplete combustion is the cause, per se. There's something that's causing it to incompletely combust. In other words, the incomplete combustion is a part of this thing, yes. But it's not the cause of this. There's something else going on. There's some kind of chemical in the uh, kerosene that they've added, or something like that. And this is the whole problem. Like I said, I don't know what's going on other than what I can describe. Next slide's coming up. Is it carbon monoxide? No, it's not. I'm aware of the symptoms of chronic carbon monoxide poisoning. And I do have an active detector in my house. It has nothing to do with that. The detector has not been going off.
yet the problem is really severe. Have I tried researching this? I've tried the internet searches. I haven't called any of the oil companies. But I'm not expecting anything to be honest with you. Once again, I'm going to appeal to people, if you know anything about this situation, then uh, please do speak up about it. Don't, you're not alone. If you're having this problem, you're not alone. It's not your imagination. I know it'll be dismissed as our imagination, but it's not. Never had this problem before the winter of 2014 to 2015. I'm thinking the big O may have something to do with this, but I can't prove it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Let's get some help on this and identifying what's going on. Thank you for watching.